Hey everybody, this is Edgejo and welcome to my next video in my series on lists and Python um, regarding the basics of lists in the programming language Python. So remember the previous video we were just looking at um, how to uh, print or output a list when we had strings as uh, items in the list and then we also looked how to reverse, to sort, to add or append and um, to remove items from a list. So in this video we're now going to look at how to um, create an empty list and then how to populate an empty list using random numbers. So first of all um, I would like to start by just creating an empty list. So I'll just say there create uh, empty list and uh, we're going to call this list because we're going to work with um, some numbers later on. I'm just going to call this one nums and to create the empty list we just have to have um, an open and closing square bracket. You'll find that just to the left of the enter button on your keyboard. So uh, so that's what a, a empty list looks like and um, we're going to populate this list. That means we're going to add in some uh, values in terms of random numbers. Um, random numbers. So in order for us to do that we also have to import from the Python library we have to import um, so we'll say from random that is the module in the Python library and we want to import a specific function called randint. Randint. The randint stands for random integer and an integer is just a number and in our case it um, or we just understand as a number but it's actually the data type that is a whole number uh, positive or negative so uh, if it's like a minus one or a hundred or 120 it doesn't matter if it's a whole number no decimal places it's an integer and um, the way we're going to populate our uh, list is by using the for loop so I'm going to say for i in range and we're going to say let's say 20 we want to generate 20 random numbers and remember um, how this works um, for i that is just the um, the variable that it's going to use you don't have to declare it beforehand um, and it's going to start at 0 and it's going to repeat 20 times just go from 0 to 19 in order to repeat that and remember your colon at the end and you press enter and you must have this tab space otherwise you will get an error message so um, Oh, I did not um, comment this, so I'm just going to say using a for loop to iterate. Iterate just means loop or repeat. Oops. Repeat. Um, and we want to repeat it 20 times. 20 times. So if you had inside there, if you had a 5, it'll repeat 5 times. If you had a 10, 10 times, and so on. So we want to repeat that. Um, 20 times and remember the function we used to add data into our uh, list was the append function so I'm going to use nums nums.append and this is now um, there's two ways two ways to do it the short way is just going to be randint so we're using the function that we imported before randint and um, we have to give it a lower and upper boundary, so I'm just going to say, um, oops, let me just take that out of the way. So we're going to say um, 1 is our lowest number, and let's say 100 is our highest number. And remember, it is a function. A function always has an opening and closing bracket, just like this function has an opening and closing bracket. So just remember that part. So the parameters we are using inside this rand int is the lower boundary and the upper, sorry, not the boundary, the lower value and the upper value for a random integer. So, uh, and then what we need to do is just um, output the list. Oh, before we do that, I just need to annotate. So, we want to append or add um, random numbers um, to the list. Random numbers to the list. And uh, I'll just enter twice, go back there. And then we want to output our list. Output the list using the print function. Let me just go back there. On the side print and it's we're going to print nums. 
Okay, so let's have a look. Ooh, output. <laughs> that must be output. There we go. And uh, let's just have a look quickly. So we've got from random input round int, we're creating our empty list called nums. And then we're going to iterate or loop 20 times. Um, and we're going to append. That means we're going to add whatever has been generated here. Every single time it comes around will be added into this list. And then we output the list. So let's have a look. And let's say file. Actually, I'll just press F5. F5 is going to ask me to save it. And... Um, and then OK and then run and then I just need to bring it over to this side and there you can see whoops there you can see we have our let's just see if I can just bring this in what will happen if I do that that's better so here we can see our 20 numbers that we've generated here all between 1 and 100 okay so uh, I'll just leave that there and click away so that's what happened. We have generated random numbers bet uh, between 1 and 100 and we've added it to nums, our list, uh, inside there and we printed it out like we had over here. So that is actually straightforward and it's quite cool. If you want to quickly generate um, a list that has a certain amount of numbers, um, 200, 500, 1000, 10,000, whatever it is, you can do that in seconds with a simple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines of code by using five lines of code. I'm not counting the hashtags one, the comments. So it's one, two, three, four, five lines of code in order to generate that. Um, but um, something that I was just thinking about, so let's say you don't want to run, I'll just run this again, you don't want to actually have it like that. Let's say you want to have each one of these numbers, each one of them, on a separate line. Um, I'll just close that one. On a separate line, that is something um, uh, that's quite uh, easily done when we um, print it out. So once we have our list, we can also just go through it and print it um, separately on um, each line. That's after we've generated our our list. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to add another, another for loop. I'm going to say for j in range. The reason I'm using that for j in range, because I already have the variable um, i there. So for j in range, and that's going to be the length of the uh, list, for length of the list, len nums, and so I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to say print. This time I'm putting the print function inside, um, inside our uh, list and I'm going to say nums and I'm going to use a square bracket this time remember 0 1 2 3 how um, it goes with the with the values in the in the list so I'm going to say I'm going to start with I because I sorry with J because J should be 0 and then I'm going to close that let's see if that works let's see if that works before I comment it Let's, uh, I'll just say um, output values um, on its own line. Something like that. Output. Output. Right, F5 enter. Let's see if that works. We may or may not get an error message. Let's have a look. And here we go. So, yeah, so that worked perfectly. So, I'll just bring this one. Uh, I'll just bring this one in slightly. There we go, and just bring that one down slightly. There we go. So you can see we've got 67, 42, all the way to 61. So you can see there's 67, 42, 27, all the way to 61. So each on its own little line. So I thought I'll just um, share that with you. So um, just to quickly recap what we've done, um, we created an empty list. We imported the rand int function from the random module from the Python library. And then we created a loop which will iterate uh, 20 times or repeat 20 times. And as each iteration comes through, it's going to generate a random integer between 1 and 100. And it's going to add it to the list over there. And that's when we printed it out. And But if you want to have each value on its own line after you've generated it, you will use something like this. We use another function called len. Len is short for the length and it's the length of the list. 
and um, again I just used a different variable because we've already used a variable there and instead of saying 0, 1, 2 and so on um, I just used that uh, counter so to speak um, inside there but it just it also works with um, other things so if I just go backly, uh, backly, uh, back quickly to the previous one we've done here's the previous one that we had and if we want to do the exact same thing so for now I'm not gonna s ooh, shall I save it let me just save it as a new uh, save as and I'm going to save it I'm going to save it as uh, demo 2 um, and that's gonna be a for loop so I'll just save it like that and I want to get rid of um, some of these let's do that I'm just gonna get rid of that and um, let's quickly see if we want to do the same thing here for i in range we already have a existing list and we're gonna do the num uh, sorry not num uh, animals len animals sorry len animals like that and um, we're gonna print we're gonna print i so what are we trying to do here is we want to print a lion goose zebra cat because remember before on this one we actually printed the integers the numbers the data type now I want to print string the data type here and for iron range len uh, print i that theoretically should give us all of actually I just want to print the um, the original list so we can just see animals there we go F5 enter let's see what app oops it's on the screen let me just bring it in so here you can see that's the original list and we have printed oh we've printed the actual values of I which is not correct I should be printing animals square bracket I square bracket right so that's what's supposed to happen um, otherwise I'm just printing the numbers instead of the values corresponding to that number so let me just do f5 and enter and which are we still this side let me just grab this across and here you can now see what has happened if I just put it under there so here's our original list and because of this here that is our list and this is the value we want to uh, output there we've got lion goose zebra cat and dog all the way through there so it works both ways it's not just for for integers let me just close those ones it works for um, any data type uh, integers that's the numbers we've been dealing with and string as well I hope you enjoyed this video and um, uh, yes please practice this please um, um, code this and um, so on and um, thank you for watching um, if you enjoyed this video, there's um, a, more, a few more to come. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on lists and Python. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.